Netflix needs to move to a week-by-week episode release schedule and their little war with The Mandalorian shows why. Hey everyone, this is Kevin the Entrepreneur. Welcome to my channel. If this is the first time here and happen to like this content, please do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button below, ring that bell notification. We talk about tech apps and entertainment, all that jazz on a near daily basis. And you will be notified of live stream premieres, all that jazz. So anyway, I did not think that The Mandalorian versus The Witcher was a thing. I really didn't. I mean, Disney Plus is unquestionably a channel geared towards families. Some of you Star Wars and Marvel fans might say, no, 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 it's geared toward us. No, it's not. It's geared towards family. At the end of the day, and even by the end of ne next month, the, the cartoons, the Disney Channel shows, the tween stuff, that will far outweigh the Star Wars stuff, which has, what, 11 movies and now one like two th or three TV series if you count the cartoons. I mean, I guess I could put the Ewoks and Droid cartoons on Disney Plus. That would be fascinating to see. I haven't seen those in a long time. But Di but Disney Plus is for kids. And hey, I totally love it. Ju just because I acknowledge it's made for kids doesn't mean I can't enjoy it, and that doesn't mean you can't enjoy it either. However, Disney Plus also brought something back that Netflix had long deemed not important. And that was the weekly release schedule. Now, companies have been trying to figure out how to do, do this online. Because with Netflix, there's an expectation that a season will drop. Like the whole season will drop. And we're starting to see companies start to push back a little bit on that. Apple TV, when they launched, they decided to do kind of an in-betweener thing. They decided they would do three episodes of their new series right off the bat. And then one episode a week after that, it, which is actually a good compromise, I think. Um, Netflix continues to drop full series. However, they sometimes will split seasons into two and release half half one month and half a few months later. That's one thing they can do. Disney, right out of the gate, decided that they would do one new episode a week, no exceptions. Now, granted, that might be because The Mandalorian is really the only new series they have on the horizon, like the next Marvel show, Falcon and the Winter Soldier, I believe, doesn't even come out till fall. So they need to stretch the Mandalorian out quite a bit. But this chart is actually kind of interesting. This chart shows the face-off between the Mandalorian and the Witcher. Now, I've seen a few episodes of the Mandalorian. I'm on episode like four. I, I'm sure I'll finish it eventually. And I have not watched any of the Witcher. Um, I don't really have that much interest in watching The Witcher, to be perfectly honest. I might still give it a ch chance, though. It's in the news enough. I might just have to check it out just to see what it's like. But here's the thing. This chart shows the two series and what their numbers are like um, with their release schedules. Now, as you can see right here with this red line, that is The Mandalorian. And it's one episode a week. And as you can see, it kind of goes up and down, up and down. There you go. Now, The Witcher goes straight up, and then it starts to curve down. Now, some people have taken away from this to mean that The Witcher is more popular than The Mandalorian, and therefore, you know, it's a better show. Now, I'm not here to debate quality show, again, because I haven't really watched The Witcher, but here's the thing. I will grant you this. The Witcher does appear to be more popular than Mandalorian. Even at the height of the final episode of The Mandalorian, The Witcher still came on top. But you'll notice something. Mandalorian is going up and down and keeping interest throughout the whole month. Uh, the, the whole few months, actually. Witcher has skyrocket popularity, and then it has nowhere to go but down. There's no word of mouth. People watch it all in the first weekend, and that's where you're going with it. It, it, and this is where it can't continue. So here's the thing. Here's what the article says. There's been a lot of debate about various aspects of Disney Plus and Netflix lately. Namely, is Disney Plus stretching out its content over a rather sparse first year to just spike new subscriptions? And is Netflix wasting the potential of its biggest shows by dumping them all in one weekend? Well, I thought I'd take a look at one chart to demonstrate how many people are interested in the two big shows, The Mandalorian and The Witcher, and what that might look like with the different strategies of the two popular shows released. What I came back with? That would be the Google Trends search interest chart above. That's one, that one's for the U.S., and the red line, you might guess, is The Mandalorian, while the blue line is The Witcher. 
The difference between the two strategies is pretty clear. The Mandalorian has spikes every Friday when it's usually released and has sustained interest over that period of time, with a big jump for the grand finale. And yet The Witcher seems to be more popular program overall, with a massive surge since the weekend, but even its trail-off site since its debut on December 20th still puts it above The Mandalorian on its best day. The global chart is even more of a pronounced difference. Pa yes, however, he is missing a huge point here. Keep in mind, if this is a Google search, then this is how long it's staying in the conversation. The Witcher is barely in the conversation until it actually comes out. And that's the kind of thing that can kill a show if not done properly. That's why a great show, for example, like Tuca and Birdie, for example, which I love, by the way, fumbles so much out of the gate. Because a show like that is not going to get like a huge number of people just watching right away. I think both these shows have the potential to hold interest over all this time. But let's say The Witcher was Tuca and Birdie, and it starts out down here. It might eventually just crawl up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? So, and this also does show another thing, because look at this. See how it goes over several months? This is a visual representation of people who keep their Disney Plus subscriptions just for this one show. If you were to binge The Witcher, this only represents like, hey, a lot of people will sign up for Netflix for one weekend, watch The Witcher, and then you take it away. So I think, no, I believe the future for Netflix is they're going to go back to week by week episodes. They might not do it all right away. They've already started splitting the seasons in half. And I think the next thing is they might release three episodes every week. And then you'll start seeing two episodes every week. And then you'll eventually get to one episode a week. And then you can also stretch it out throughout the uh, the whole year and maybe get people to try out other shows in the meantime. And then the only one that will still be dropping whole seasons is Amazon, which might always be that way because Amazon, frankly, doesn't care about their Prime Video service. As long as it's a bonus for pe to get people to sign up for Prime memberships, which, full credit, it did get us to finally get a Prime membership. I'm still not buying anything from the site, though. Then they don't care. But hey, I'd like to know what you guys think about this. What do you think has the most, which do you think works better? Do you think this chart shows that Disney is better? Or do you think that this chart actually uh, validates what Netflix says? Because even at the height of Mandalorian, The Witcher is still in beating it in terms of search results. I, I would love to know. So comment below, like, favorite, share, subscribe. And as always, flame responsibly. Have a good one.